What's good, YouTube? This your boy Lazarian. Please comment, like, and subscribe on the video. I thank you guys for supporting the channel. I thank you guys who I was in the live stream. Uh, you know, I really pretty much thank you guys for all your support and stuff. Y'all keep supporting the channel. Keep coming in the live stream. Keep subscribing. I love all the subscri new subscribers who sub to me. Shout out to the new subscriber, uh, Southern. Southern. Shout out to the new sub. Let, let's get right into the video. The Los Angeles Clippers last night beat the LA Lakers 118-107. <coughs> Uh, it was pretty much it was a good game going into the going it was a good game it was a good hard scrap game last night uh, like I say I expect the Clippers be to be fighting at the end of the beginning of the year to be fighting for that eighth or seventh seed they're pretty good Doc Rivers has done a great job with this team but I still think he's an overrated head coach uh, Lou Williams is just an engine to make that team go uh, like I say. Lou Williams was out like three straight games, and they lost four straight games. They lost four straight. When he came back, they won three straight. So, uh, Danilo Gallinari, if he stayed, if he was a healthy person, that guy, you know what type of game he got. He's got a nice little outside game. Uh, he can get to the basket. The little spin move he did on Kyle Kuzma last night, bullying him to the basket and dunking, dunking the basketball. All the post ups and stuff that he can do. The guy's really efficient from the field. He can shoot from the free throw line. Tobias Harris is one of the most underrated players in the game. People need to start putting some respect on Tobias Harris' name. Um, the guy averaged 21 points uh, per game, eight rebounds. The guy's just good. The guy's a monster. Uh, Tobias Harris is really, really good, man. They got uh, can shoot. They got can get to the basket with ease. He can shoot over the top of people. I really love Tobias Harris. I think he's a good, good player. Uh, like I say, people just need to start respecting this guy for what he is. Avery Bradley is a good three and D player. Um, Patrick Beverly can get in you. Um, uh, Sundarius Thornwell gave these guys a lot of energy last night um, off the bench. Uh, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. The Clippers did great last night. Uh, like I said, the Lakers. They uh started off the game slow in the first quarter. They uh managed to keep the uh get the first. They managed to uh, keep the game close in the first quarter. Uh, the second quarter, the Lakers it, it was a tale of two halves for both teams. The Lakers were going a big run, then the Clippers would come back going a big run. Uh, Kyle Kuzma hits a big three at the end of the set for, first half, and uh, Lou Williams comes right back and hits a half court shot to uh put them down fifty six to fifty three at halftime. Uh. Put them down like uh, 47 to 50, and then LA is up uh, 59 to 51. They come out, they come out hot, and like I say, um, middle of the third quarter, uh, that's when the Clippers start the ass whooping pretty much. Uh, they went on like a 20-0 run going into the fourth quarter, a 20 to nothing run. Uh, Lou Williams started doing what the hell he want to do. Danilo Gallinari started doing what he want to do, and plus. Uh, uh, so Darius Thornwell came off, came off the bench, gave these guys great energy. Uh, Tyrone Wallace gave these guys great energy. Like I say, uh, the Lakers could lose five games in a row. They play the Kings again. They lose that. They in some serious trouble. Losing LeBron James doesn't help. Um, I don't know who you go to when uh, you need a big shot. I don't really know if you the Lakers who you go to. Alonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball shooting up bricks up all night long as usual. Uh, like I say, it's just uh, it's just bad for the Lakers uh, in that third quarter. The uh, Clippers just went on a twenty to nothing run. Montrez Harrell, like I said, biting the Rockets in the ass for letting really trading him and letting them go. He's been really really good for the uh, Clippers ever since the Clippers had to gave him a chance. Uh, I really like this Clippers team. I really think they're going to be competing for the uh, 8th seed, for the 8th seed, 8th uh, to 7th seed. Uh, like I say, Lou Williams is the engine to make this team go. So, uh, like I say, it was an ass whooping in the third quarter last night. I know the game was down, Lakers only lost by 11, but it was a rout because they were on a, the Clippers was on a 20 to nothing run um, going into the fourth quarter, and they kept pointing on. Patrick Beverly hitting floaters, playing tough defense last night. 
I mean, it was just a shit shell for the uh, Los Angeles Lakers in that third quarter. Going into that fourth quarter, they start pointing on more. Uh, like I say, down the stretch, I just don't know who you get give the ball to. Like I say, for the L.A. Lakers, Kyle Kuzma look like he wants the ball. Uh, a lot of bad turnovers by the L.A. Lakers uh, in bad situations. Um, Josh Hart getting up, getting ejected out the game. Uh, I think that was a good call by the referee, a good no call. That was not a charge. That was a flop. Josh Hart definitely fell on the ground. Uh, you Referees, you can't award people from flopping. And Josh Hart, definitely he flopped on that play. He didn't, uh, didn't, that was not a charge. I didn't think Tobias Harris extended his arm too much. I really didn't think he did. Uh, like I say, and Luke Walton got a good task, got a task on his hand, like I said. He's got a he's got a task on his hand to try to keep this team together, knowing that they don't they don't have LeBron James. Like I say, then you got OKC on the schedule coming coming up soon. So it doesn't things doesn't get any easier for LA. Y'all gotta have to uh, uh, you gonna have to try to uh, win some games before LeBron James come back. It doesn't hurt because Rondo just had surgery. He will be out for another couple of months. So it's just bad for the Lakers. The injury bug is hitting these guys, but still that is no excuse. Uh, you can't. Let the Clippers go on a 20 to nothing run and not stop the bleeding. And like I say, let's get into the box score. Uh, not the box score, the uh, stats. 36 out of 87, 46, 41 percent. 11 out of 33s, 36 percent. 24 out of uh, 35, 368 percent. Uh, 58 rebounds, eight offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, 42, 23 assists. Five steals, three blocks, uh, 17 turnovers, 25 points off turnovers, bad break points, 17 uh, points in the paint, 40, 44. That's the L.A. Lakers. Um, 40 out of 91, 44%. Uh, six out of 19, threes for... 31%. They they rarely shot threes last night because they kept getting to the basket anytime they want they wanted to. So why shoot threes when you can get to wherever you want? And Lou Williams hits a big three to put them uh the Lakers up 13. I mean the Clippers up 13 when the Lakers tried to make their run. Uh Lou Williams hits a big three to make it uh 105 to one uh to 92. Uh Lou Williams just a beast, man. They got to the free throw line 34 times. Uh 32 out of 34, 94%. They only missed two free throws. Uh, 57 rebounds. I rebounded by one. Uh, seven uh, offensive, 46 defensive rebounds. Um, 21 assists, 10 steals. They had a lot of steals. They jumped in the passing lane a lot. Um, they created a lot of turnovers. Uh, four blocks, 14 turnovers. Had more possessions. Points off turnovers, uh, 11. Fast break points, 9. Points in the paint, 48. Let's get into the box score. Danilo Gallinari, 19, 3, and 10. 35 minutes. Tobias Harris, 9, 1, and 10. 33 minutes. Bojan Modanovic, uh, 4, 4, and 1. 17 minutes. Avery Bradley, 8, 3, and 5. Uh, 29 minutes. Mike Scott, no points. Montrez Harold, 12 and 4, 21 minutes. Gortat, 2, 5 assists and uh, 3 rebounds, 8 minutes. Patrick Beverly, 8, 2 and 2, 25 minutes. Lou Williams, 36, um, 2 and 7. Nobody had no idea how to stop him. Uh, Tyrone Wallace, uh, 6, 6, uh, 1 and 3, 10 minutes. Uh, Sendarius Thornwell, when he did get in the game, had great, provided great energy, great defense. Um, like I say, he pretty much uh, opening up the game pretty much with his defense and his uh, making some three-point baskets, three-point plays, um, making a tough layup over Kyle Kuzma. Uh, he re really provided this got this team great energy. He was a part of the 20 0 run. Uh, seven points, uh, two rebounds in nine minutes. Uh, L.A. Lakers, Kyle Kuzma, 24, uh, 5 and 8, uh, 42 minutes. Brandon Eagle, 17 and 7, uh, 33 minutes. Lexi Zubak couldn't get going last night because of uh, Bunyana bitch uh, reach. He's long, he's limp, he's rangy. Uh, he couldn't he couldn't shoot over uh, Bunyana bitch. Uh, it wasn't uh, it wasn't 
Zubat Knight, 7, 3, and 3, 19 minutes. Lonzo Ball, 19, 6, and 5, uh, pretty good. 43 minutes. Josh Hart, 12, 3, and 6, uh, 35 minutes. Tyson Channel, 6, uh, 3, and 15, 24 minutes. Lance to make you dance, uh, 8 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Uh, 17 minutes, Caldwell Pope, 14, 1, and 4, 26 minutes. That's the end of the video, you guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe what you think about the game last night. The Clippers go to 21 and 14. The Lakers go to 20 and 16. Lakers got to start picking up games fast. They got to start winning. They got to figure this thing out. Uh, like I said, uh, or they're going to find out, find themselves on the outside looking in really, really soon before LeBron James come back. Because it's the West. You can't afford to give up ball games in the West, tough Western Conference. And the Clippers, they're doing better than I expected. I expect them to compete for the eighth seed all year. And like I say, they one of my surprise teams in the NBA. So give me a comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Guys, thank you. I'm out. Peace.